we're going to do some Starfield tonight. And I want to make it clear, this is a first playthrough. I've never played the game before. Uh, the closest that I've come is watching a little bit of Stu's video. And I think if you want to go see it, there you go. You guys can go uh, check it out there. I would encourage you to bookmark it, please. You know, for mine, for mine and Stu's sake. But anyway, uh, so let's uh, let's hop into uh, Starfield. I think you guys can see that I've already got the game up and going. Hello, on the bridge. There we go. All right. So I'm I'm actually going to be playing with the controller. I was I was told that controller is better, and so I have my my awesome PS5 controller here. I charged her all the way up just to make sure that we had enough juice for the game. So, um, without further ado, and actually, uh, I have already started it up and it does play. Um, I didn't do anything. I didn't do the tutorial. I haven't done anything. I just started it up to make sure that it would actually launch. So here we go. We're hitting the button. Oh, hello. Seals are good. Oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's my one simple Listen rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady. Go safe. Go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. I feel like this yeah, is Firefly. It's just like, um, now I work in the Stardock. Except uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very it could helpful. be inspired by Thank Firefly. You. Maybe. Hey, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah. And the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just no more unauthorized jumps in the house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. A group hug now or at the end of the shift? One of these days, Promises, promises. I feel like saying something like that is ominous. If anybody here has ever watched enough 80s action movies, <laughs> I have a good feeling about okay. you. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, I'm going to make it to retirement. But not you. Check on Isabel. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. Roger that. This is gorgeous. Remember, Dusty, keep your breathing steady and never take that helmet off down here. Oxygen processors don't extend this far. Yeah. God forbid we drill on a rock with a breathable atmosphere. Well, I gotta say, this sure beats, you know uh, in collective space? waking up in the back of a wagon on your way to your own execution. Is that a reference to Red Dead? No, that was a reference to Skyrim.
Troy, what's the yield? Minimal at this point. Occasional glitter <laughs> is weak. What do you think? There's a line from no, Stu's video at this point where he says, Troy and Abed. <laughs> he does a Troy and Abed in the morning joke, which is fucking great, but... That made me chuckle. Sorry. <laughs> Go watch this video. It's awesome. It's all right. <laughs> Dusty, you're up. Grab a cutter and mine what you can. Metal deposits are in that cavern. I'll shout out when I need you. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, won't let me fire it, Lynn. Oh, well. Oh, that's a, di a distance. Okay, sorry. I'm new here. Okay. Uh. Uh, you think we'll be done here soon? Now I hear this is the last dig. Be glad when we're off it. You take care of yourself out there. All right, thank you. Good talking. Good talking to you. I'm busy. Else to bother? No, that's why I'm here, man. Jeez, okay, whatever. How they sucker you to join? Fall for the fancy pamphlets? There were pamphlets? Lynn sure seems to like you. Guess she would know, being the boss and all. Oh, shit. Oh, cool, we're mining beryllium. Little Galaxy Quest reference there, huh? Oh my god, this fucking guy. They're ready, boss. Get back up here. Oh, oh okay. Whoa. To get through, my yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. It's time. You're with me. Okay. This kind of has the interface kind of has a feel like um uh, what's that one game where you're you're playing like a salvage guy and these ships come into your yard and you have to break up the ships? It has kind of like an alien feel. Shipbreaker? Is that is, is it called Shipbreaker? I was, I was like, I'm pretty sure that's what you're thinking of. I feel like that's a little on the nose. I I don't know why. What's up, AJ? How you doing, man? Oh my god, we work for okay. Wayland Yutani. Relax. It's just another job. <laughs> like that one line in Rick and Morty where <laughs> if you if you see one of those eggs, give it a good whack. <laughs> We're getting close. I think. Yeah, everything is just What's up, Ray the How you doing, man? Seriously, uh, there's something really effed up about this. Where is it? Okay, Lynn, you're going to push me over the ledge here. Oh, thank um, you. Why would anything go wrong? Would you shut up? Both of you do your job. Oh. Client is on his way. Oh my. Hey, I'm look at me. I'm doing all right, man. I hope you're doing okay. Uh, let's see. I know, right? I'm like, uh. <laughs> oh, hold. LB. Ah. That's nifty. I like that. This is a very well equipped suit until it's not. Um, still getting weird gravity readings. I, I guess that's a good thing. Just keep going. <laughs> is this a hazing? I feel like this is a haze, the new guy. Do you see anything? Uh. Whoa. Use the cutter. Okay. And we're just gonna reach for it. Man, I'm brave. Oh! 
I better be in a fucking TARDIS for this. Oh shit. Oh. Man. I'm gonna wake up with a new hand or something like that. You were out cold. No physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. <laughs> I like this guy. New recruit for Argos Extractors. Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar? Oh. Oh wow. Okay. I I I like this. Okay. Uh. All right, well, I guess we'll start at the beginning. I feel like wearing earrings in space is not a good thing. You know, lots of magnets and stuff. Again, I'll be right back. Yep. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know you could get like the wilder colors on here, but I guess you, you usually do. See, but I, so I, we were talking about this yesterday about how uh, Bethesda was really touting the modability of this game. And one of the big Skyrim mods is CBBE, uh, which has a whole bunch of like plugins for it. And uh, I think Grumpy was in Grumpy was in trap yesterday and mentioned that there's another one called like 3BA, I think. Um Gorn. <laughs> no Gorn, unfortunately. I think I think you're just you're stuck with human. Alright, hold on. I think so far. One, two, three? No. There we go. I I I go with this one. Um Oh, okay. Uh, rotate. Right, that's right stick. Oh, wow, you could really... Like he, wow, this is a, a <laughs> this is definitely new. I will go there. This feels a little like uh, Cyberpunk. I think Cyberpunk has a similar. I don't know, kind of like in the Mohawk. Okay, so this is this one I I I don't know. I, there's Beast Hunter, there's Bouncer, there's Bounty Hunter, Chef, Combat Medic, Cyber Runner. And then file <laughs> file not found. Oh shit. Uh okay. Space ground roll. <laughs> Soldier, ballistics, you got fitness, boost pack training. Oh, sculptor. I don't I don't know what to pick here. I feel like I should have uh read something, but eh, I can always I can always restart. I, that's one thing about uh 
like Bethesda games, especially, you know, playing Skyrim. I can always start a new character. It's no big deal. Wellness, ballistics, and piloting. That'll work. We'll do that. Uh, dream home, <laughs> empath. Extrovert. Hero worship. Uh, introvert kid stuff. Neon street rat. Raised enlightened. Raised universal. Oh, interesting. Oh, shit. <laughs> I saw that. Wow. Okay. Um, uh, I'm thinking empath and extrovert might work. I feel like choosing a faction or a religion might not be the best thing. Uh, which leaves... Healing and food items are not as effective, which means you probably have to go through food items and healing, but I kind of like that. I, 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 I'm liking that. All right. Uh... Hold on. How do I get out of this? I went with file not found. Okay. Oh, no. No, no, no. Uh... Alright. It says... X, but I'm clicking, I'm literally clicking finish. I don't know if you can hear that. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, she, her. Name, character. Uh, let's do a name. Um, what was my, oh no, I don't want to pick the name that I used in Skyrim. We'll do, oh wait, I'm on wrong screen. There we go. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way, then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? I'm gonna keep this to myself. Huh. Well, makes the paperwork easier, and we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Speak of the devil. Ah, oh, there we go. Our constellation contact is on approach. 
Wait, the Explorers Group? <laughs> hey, hey, what's up, Stu? Not a joke. Not a joke. You're just too young to know better. Hey, I'm just saying they got a reputation. Hell, I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe they really exist. Half the crew doesn't believe Earth exists, but it's still there. Same with Constellation. Yeah, but come on. Exploring space? <laughs> Who does that anymore? Ain't the space we've already got complicated enough? Not to them, apparently. All right, Dusty. Airlock. Put your helmet on. <laughs> uh helmet uh All right, that's uh inventory. There we go. Right. It's a bit weird because the controller options are not set up for PlayStation. They're set up for Xbox. And I'm like, oh my God, I haven't touched an Xbox controller in so long. I don't know. I don't remember where, why, and all that shit is. <laughs> so, oh my fuck. Uh, I don't remember. Are fireworks legal? In your area, they're totally illegal here, but that's stop people from firing them off. All right, hold on. I'm gonna... I need to make some audio changes here. Yeah, I want the... Effects turned down. I want to be able to hear the voices. And that'll do... <laughs> they were legal, I just got it. So do I fire at this guy? Man. Been a long time. <laughs> yes, it has. That mine on Bendy, right? Kazal, hellhole, like this place. Rare mineral contract. Your tastes are a bit more sophisticated now, huh? So, you found something? Right here. The new girl found it. That right. And everything went cool? Just like grabbing those minerals on Bendy? Kazal. And no, Barrett. Not cool. She passed out after the extraction. Doesn't even remember what happened. Is that right? Went on a trip, huh? <laughs> Uh, let's see. <laughs> that fun, huh? Not the most gentle push into the great mysteries of space, but hey, been there. Look, just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing, or you, ever again. So she's holding it. That's why I like you, Lynn. She didn't pass out. Barrett, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. I really thought I lost them. Oh shit. Oh. That's an impact driver. Where? Oh, I ran right by them.
I need like They fucking left one of their guys behind. Holy shit. Now I see why. Did we hold them off? Of course Barrett was being followed. Every time. Oh. Oh, is it my line? I'm so sorry. Hold on. Uh... Now that was some fine work on the pressure. <laughs> you dug up the audio, right? <laughs> They were both looking at me. That means you saw it. The visions? You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, if they can tell me what this... Arma, thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, I, it's also, it's September, right? September, get it? Uh, I don't know what that means, though. Uh... You ever stare up at the stars at night wondering what's out there? Well, that's us. That's where we go. I am back. Hey, what's up? Marvelous. Oh, no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? All right. I guess I did just put you all on the crimson <laughs> <table> list. <laughs> How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, I, I know, I know, but she's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as she touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. No kiss? Just go. Before I say something I regret. Well, none of that's settled. Vasco! Get her to the line. All right, so how long before... ...unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo. Again. Very well. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very <laughs> It's dangerous to go alone. It even tells the time. Anytime a character says, take this. Hey, look at that. The watch fits you perfectly. Now... Questions? Come on. You're really not at all curious about that light music show you experienced? I didn't say it only that. You? Because if you didn't notice, we've all been handling it since with no problem. The way I see it, Constellation needs that artifact, but they also need you. This mystery is only getting bigger each step we take. And you're part of it now. But you're giving me your ship? Technically, it's not even mine. Consider it alone. <laughs> I'm subletting it. Keep you on course. <laughs> Besides, I'm making an exception since you can tell Constellation about that vision you had. And who are you? See, that's the problem with the settled systems. Too easy to take everything for granted. While everyone else is busy playing politics, we're the ones braving the unknown, <laughs> charting the vastness of space. Without us, the galaxy is just a big room with the lights turned out. I won the ship in a uh, poker game with Lando Calrissian. They're just following the loop, like pirates do. And I have something of a reputation as a loot collector. <laughs> All right. That, my friend, is the million credit question. And Constellation can find the answer with your help. Nice. All right. And Vasco, 
Don't let her break my ship. <laughs> All right, this thing is uh, interesting. <laughs> Wait. Wait, so you are you staying too or, or are you just just up the ramp, Captain. I'll be in the external robotics bay. Alright, you You do that. Number one. Captain, I assume you know how to fly a class A starship. Oh uh, yes. God damn! I feel like all of this loose shit uh, lying around here is going to become a hazard later. But, uh, you know, okay. <laughs> okay, I will <laughs> I will take it. Where's the uh, somebody told me there was a secret area with a NASA mug somewhere. Oh, wow, Spock's Spock's science station. It's got like the the little deals there. Does Barry know that he just left all his shit behind? Holy crap. Like, he just like, here, take the ship. I don't need any of my personal effects. Okay. Damn. Oh, wait. I feel like that was important. Uh, jump seat, jump seat, pilot seat. Oh yeah, I'm just like I'm just an old. Oh. Oh my. <laughs> Bomb on blazers. I'm just gonna go, man. Yeah, hold on. I need to... I need to invert flight. There we go. Sure, they are not on the verge of catastrophic failure. I can step you through the entire process, or if you're already an experienced pilot, just power up all the systems and we'll be on our way. Okay, so select a show system, allocate power. Laser ballistic. I feel like engines need to be up. Each system on a ship requires power. Allocating power is under your direct control. Let's go over the engines. Engines control our maximum speed. Try increasing and decreasing our relative velocity. Oh, nice. A ship's engine has a sweet spot for better handling during turns. Draw your attention to the HUD. You'll notice a speed indicator in the lower left with a gauge that goes up and down as you adjust the throttle. Try to center the gauge so that it lines up with the center of the vertical bars to its right. That has been done. Boost can be engaged for temporary bursts of speed. 
Thank you. Search the wreckage for spare parts and other salvage. You will need to fly close to it before we can access the remains. Okay. Two more Crimson Fleet ships are jumping into our Loki. Do I just have like unlimited everything? My shield's offline. Is that you, Barrett? Give up that loot. Grab shot. Not like we're running anyway. The amount of Crimson Fleet hostility has been far more Damn. than anticipated. I need to, uh, is there like a, hold on, man. I, I want to find the other, oh, that's, where's the other wreckage? <laughs> I want to pick up the loot. You never leave loot behind, man. Oh, there it is. I got, I, I, yeah, yeah, I saw it, I saw it, I saw it, I saw it. I saw it, I saw it, I saw it. We gotta play some more demonologists, dude. Halloween is coming. Yep. 60 more days. Oh, oh, oh. Holy shit. Okay. Okay, 
now we go to over here. And I gotta do the grab jump, right? Or do I just do sublight? Uh. Oh, that is cool. In a way, this kind of reminds me of, Star of uh, No Man's Sky. A little bit, yeah. All right, Grav is powered up. We're gonna go in with shields. We're at full. It, it, it's like if No Man's Sky and Star Citizen had a baby and was raised by Skyrim. <laughs> I think. I, I, I know. I don't know. <laughs> That's kind of an accurate description. The graphics of Star Citizen, the play style is No Man's Sky, and the spirit is Skyrim. <laughs> yeah. But it was, it was, yeah, exactly. Like, both parents died horribly in, a, like, a crash. But the baby survived, and then, like, it ended up on a planet with Skyrim, and Skyrim raised it. The abandoned facility with our Crimson Fleet captain is on the surface. Okay. Okay. Oh, so I can't even land the ship myself? Aww. I was kind of hoping that I would be able to. But, eh, that's okay. Everybody remember where we parked. It doesn't matter. Oh, okay. It would have been cool, but you know. Be careful, Captain. Alien creatures are often unpredictable. No. Oh! Is there anything to, like, do I get, like, hunk of meat or Crete stalker hearts or anything? Nothing? Okay, you, yeah, I got it. Uh, ah, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Uh, how do I reload? Oh, 
Oh shit. Oh crap. Hey, what's up, Jay? All right, uh, translate that to PlayStation for me. I'm using a train, a, a, a PlayStation controller. Oh, there it is. Stu's not rich enough to have a PlayStation controller. Oh shit. Uh, how do I get back to my... Oh, maybe here. <laughs> Eagle Moss models, yes. Very true. Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> I be aware of this like should I keep away from this your epic games payout didn't come out today uh, okay Just gonna walk in and offer ourselves. It's gonna be uh, <laughs> throw me the idol, I throw you the whip. Oh, I know. Is there anything in here that I want? Or is it going to be like Skyrim where I just pick up whatever's not nailed down until I'm called the thief? Yeah, and this is early access, right? So, you know. Oh, well, I'm taking that. Oh, did you? Okay. Lots of desks, desk fans here.
Oh. I gotta level up certain skills. Uh. Ooh, credit stick. Desktop organizer. Oh wow, that, that opened up a lot wider than I thought it would. board games nice The reload on this is crazy. Uh, you know what? I'm going to agree with you on that. 100%. Oh, cards. Oh yeah, loot the bodies, of course. Hey, ATT, what's up, man? It is not, uh, well, I don't know. Uh, Stu, what would you say? Is it open world? Where'd the other one drop? There he is. And he had a rescue ax. Let me see. Oh, ho, ho, ho.
Oh. That looked like a P90. All right, we're gonna look at that. Okay, maybe not. Oh yeah, it's up. It's up, my friend. In fact, uh... There you go. I don't know. Exterior bleeding damage. I can't see. In combat, Barrett often yells. I don't know what was in. Oh, shit. Did I already? Can Vasco die? Epic rifle. I am aiming for your center of mass. Open fire. I blind. All right, got your axe. He's got iron. Well, this is so I'm I'm playing on a RX uh, 6800 XT, and so far so good. Is there a, like a, is there a max carry on this game? Because I feel like I'm just looting everything I see. Ooh, credits. Yes, you're not going to be needing those. You haven't reached it yet. Oh, did you pick? Yes, sir.
Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Holy shit. Oh, he's... I'm going to get underneath him. Marker. Molecular extractor. This all looks like really expensive looking shit. It looks like the pirates raided this, or... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that. A microscope. Levitating dusk planet. Well, Stu, if you, perv if you resisted the urge to purchase every ship Eagle Moss, you know... Releases, maybe uh, you'll have enough money eventually. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> He's got to keep up with uh, fragrance. He just buys everything. Wait, did you oh. just pick up a head from that body? Oh. Thanks to the UC Marines, we now have the second piece of the puzzle. A fully grown alpha predator. God, he couldn't, he couldn't have written that any more prouder. According to my research, a group of astrogeologists made first contact nearly a hundred years ago on some remote moon. The creature didn't appear to be indigenous and was alone. There's currently no record of how it got there. So it was sheer cosmic chance that the astrogeologists found it. Or rather, <laughs> it found them. Scientists were quick to categorize it. Ox, is it Oxisio Machina? Roughly killing machine. Uh, the UC Marines tasked with taking it down chose a simpler name, Terror Morph. I read the official record once. Of the eight-person squad, only two of the Grunts survived, and one of those two lost a leg. Such an exciting time to be in Xeno Warfare. Uh, today we fit the Terramorph with an, the NCI. If our experience with when the Grunts first dropped off the creature is any indication, our sedation window will be around 15 minutes. We better make them count. Wow. It just completely flipped out. Broke through its containment chamber like it was made out of paper. It killed Michelson, Cobb, and Sumatri in all of one minute. 
I'm, I'm not even sure where it is now. It took off deeper into the facility. A, a security detail went in after it, but good friggin' luck. <laughs> when I know it's safe, I'm going to make a run for the comm relay. Try to call in the cavalry. This is Hayden Wynn, lead xenobiologist. Wishing he had gone to dentist school like his parents wanted. <laughs> uh, where is the coffee mug? I see, I, I was seeing a bunch of them laying around, but I didn't see where the NASA one was. Derpity derp. Hey, what's up? Hello, Stargate. We could make use. Oh! oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. I've been messing around with uh, the Frontier's design. They're dead. We're all dead. Which is much longer now. The whole room is trashed. We can't call for help. I can hear the terror more roaring somewhere. And more people screaming. Oh, this is now we're now this is like this is definitely like Skyrim. Where's Cloverfield? I have I have no idea. Uh There we go. Oh, I know, right? So, yeah, for those, if, if you were watching yesterday's stream, then you're aware that this took a while. You gotta be kidding me. The Frontier has a new captain? You working with Barrett, or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold, dead hands? <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> I kind of want to go with. Yeah, that's right. I killed Barrett. So tell your pirate friends to back the fuck off. Do it. Let's see what happens. Oh, no. You see, we weren't really after Barrett. We're after that ship. Every Crimson Fleet rook hears about the frontier. That constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays. The loot from a hundred planets. 
That statement is partially correct. The frontier has been to many planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. We're taking that ship. You're not talking us out of this score. Uh, let's see. I, I don't move. <laughs> I can't believe this. <laughs> I've been trailing That's that so old great. Ship for nothing. <laughs> get out of here. Take your robot and your <laughs> ship and get out of here. I see you all again. You're dead. We should now be free to travel to Constellation's headquarters without Crimson Fleet interference. Nice. But before we go, now that we have, like, you know, freedom of movement here. Or maybe not. I guess there's nothing really up here, huh? Yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking of. The final season of Archer, man. Ah, I mean, I understand why, but how you doing, Stapler? Hope you are ready for the long weekend. Oh, can I? Yeah, but can I maybe say first, okay? <laughs> You're gonna shoot them anyway, aren't you? Just to see what happens. That sounds like a stew thing to do. God damn it. You know, this reminds me of uh, when I was watching Stu's video of it earlier this morning. And I was watching him dying quickly and wondering why he's dying so quickly. And I'm eyeballing that red health bar on the bottom right. I'm like, do you not see that you have like 10 HP left? <laughs> oh, shit. Well, that's what I was trying to say, Stu. <laughs> Oh shit! Ah yes, the one NPC that has that mini gun of death. Or two of them. Oh shit! Huh? 
I don't know, I haven't. Where the hell is he? Where did he go? There's just bodies everywhere, man. I don't know what he had. I think I got this one. Anti personnel rip shank. Interesting. There's gotta be another guy over here. Oh shit. Uh, he ran off like that way, didn't he? Zoom in on that cliff again. I think he's standing. He's right there. Yeah, I see him. He's hiding behind the rock. The rock face up the cliff area. Where near that, the left of that uh, smoke. Do you see him? Right. Yeah, there he is. Oh man, all he's got is an axe. Mm. Eh, mercy killing. There we go. He ran up the ridge! <laughs> go get him! We must jump to the planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system and then land in the city of New Atlantis. Not a problem. This will all become second nature before too long. Oh, that sounds like a victory. Sounds like victory music to me. Yes. Victory! Okay, uh... Is that enough? Does it need to be? Activate frame, frame shift drive. Frame shift drive? Isn't that from Elite Dangerous? Yes, <laughs> yes it is. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of sad that they don't have uh, the loading screen as like a warp effect, like Elite actually has. Scan complete. No contraband detected. You are cleared for landing at New Atlantis. All right, landing. Uh, I think you can upgrade your ship, but I don't know if you can change your ship. I Keep in mind, I've only played this for literally one hour and ten minutes. Would so, you like a simple answer? Sure, you can, you can provide a simple uh -huh. answer. Uh-huh. Okay, there you go. Uh-huh. That's the answer. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. This would be a, uh... If I turn the camera on, you can see what I've done to the frontier. No, I get I I don't want to be spoiled. You can't upgrade and reconfigure your ship and buy a new ship. Oh, I've stolen this ship already. Hey, Fosco. What? No Baron? Let me guess. Protocol Indigo again? Your memory. <laughs> Protocol Indigo Captain, Constellation will be waiting for you at the lodge Barrett would say that billions of years ago You know, we were all that robot the cosmos, reminds so me of Johnny Five known each other forever but the more practical nah, is he needs treads for Johnny Five. The number of known people sure. who have been affected by the artifacts is now two 
Without your investment in a constellation's mission, he may never know more about the experience you both share. So he is showing you trust in order to gain your support. Wow. Okay. And he's our new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship. And you can stop by the trade authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. Uh, do I have a thousand credits? Okay, no problem. Ooh. I do have a thousand credits. That's awesome. Oh. You I guess I can upgrade these. Uh, left stick. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, I see. Okay, so I don't, I don't have enough for that. Got it. I definitely don't have enough. So I, I'm going to guess that I don't have enough for much of anything right now. Is it safe to say, though, that um, I can just keep the ship as is? Yeah. Nothing for us to do. If you're in good flying condition. So I originally added extra guns to it. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. Interesting. Her default limit is seven. I can assure you this unprovoked attack on a United Colonies research facility will not go unanswered. We'll get you settled into your new assignments as soon as possible. For you, Bobby, that includes meeting your new foster parent. My parents aren't dead. They just took a different shuttle. I'll see them when they get here. Oh, uh, well, of, of course, uh, that's sure possible. <laughs> Uh, we'll ju uh, we'll just... <clears throat> Helena Chambers, ID SSCOM-1327 HCHA. I was the station administrator. I'll need to report to MAST ASAP for a full debrief. My treatment thus far has been entirely unacceptable. Yeah, super awkward. Any authority you had was forfeit the moment House Varun Zealots breached the station's perimeter and you failed to initiate proper evacuation protocols. <laughs> Thank you for your service. We'll find you a new position commensurate with your experience. Oh. And Mr. Bosch, but Damn. Let you say how honored I am to meet you. Of course. By all accounts, you're the only I love free space. That was a great game. I'll just glad I still remembered my flight basics. It had been a while. So was shooting a gun. I read all about New Atlantis. So cool. Is it true the Nat train goes 5,000 miles an hour? Or that citizens get special discounts? Or that the whole city celebrates when it's your birthday? Mine's June 11th, by the way. My parents took me to Aquila City last week. I kind of smell it. But I don't smell anything here. Um, no, yes, no, and I will certainly have <laughs> June 11th on my calendar. As for Aquila City, well, the air purifier is here. <laughs> okay, that was pretty cool. Uh, I want to go this way. You that was pretty cool. As you enter the city. Please keep moving. All right, shit. Okay. Oh wait, I missed. Oh wow, this is the first year. Oh, okay, got it, got it. <laughs> Chunks! I love it. Where's Constellation at? There's icons. 
that tell you where to go. Oh, I see. I eat the blue uh, hexagon. Right. Uh, mass district. There we go. Cool. Yeah, I, I a free space was a lot more fun than I realized it would be. I was kind of curious that they called it descent free space, though, because it didn't really have much in common with descent. I have a feeling today's going to be a great day. Don't you agree? Oh, I think I have to go up here. Yep. to the scientist by the tree. Is this uh is this where I become the new Jarl? We may be in a United Colonies city, but constellation is an entirely neutral entity and always has <laughs> I'm glad somebody got that joke. <laughs> I'm going to get a lot of Skyrim jokes throughout this play, just letting you know. Fair warning. Here we are, the lodge. The front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting for us inside. Oh, it kind of acts like my Android watch. Everyone will be in the library, just inside. If Barry were here, he'd probably tell you that you're part of something bigger now, and he hopes you'll make this place your home. You two keep going on like this, and I'm banning wages. I'm serious. We appear to have a visitor. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Excellent. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? I see. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Uh, this is just typical. <laughs> Eric hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. She's here, with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? Uh... Yeah, <laughs> he runs the Hall of Suites, yeah. Uh, let's see, how many times has this happened? No. We think it's anyone else who pulls one out of the rock for the first time. Ah, okay. Why? We're not sure yet. So if you wouldn't mind adding another data point. It was bright lights and music. Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, Katya, if you expect us to believe in fairy tales... If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But, gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. 
Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. That's it. Just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh! That's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves... Easy, that... girl. Breathe. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Patrick? You're on, Walter. Well... If we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna go with the last one. What does we're that mean? We're here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment, just like the rest of us. And just out of curiosity, uh, who's funding this operation? You know, perhaps a Starfleet Admiral with a penchant for archaeology? Maybe? You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself. Admiral Picard, probably. Some of our members <laughs> out here. Meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. I feel like I'm overdressed for this meeting. Oh, nice. Oh! Oh, I suppose. What am I paying for now? Artifacts won't find themselves, and us going after them means fuel, repair costs, the occasion. Oh, talking to well, okay. As much as I love uncovering new questions, I wouldn't mind a few answers now and then. You and I both... That was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. I guess a lot overwhelming, now that I think about it. I'm Noelle. It's really nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. Planning on sticking around then? Good! I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. <laughs> the very abbreviated. So you've seen the library, obviously. Walter is quite proud of the collection, but Matteo has made more than a few contributions. Gardens are out the doors there. If you need a moment of quiet contemplation, emphasis on the quiet part, at least usually. Let's head upstairs. Sebastian Banks, Constellation's founder, had this place built decades ago. It was a big to-do at the time, but most people in the city have forgotten we're here. Oh, cool. This is like getting the house, right? At one of the villages. So this is the bar. Usually no tender, so help yourself. Within reason, of course. Ooh. Now let's see about that room. Oh, whoops. Dracula, Moby Dick, Origin of Species. You're in luck. 
We were almost at max occupancy already, but there's still one room up for grabs. It's been nice having the place so full. Am I getting Barrett's room or something? Barrett is literally, I literally left him on a mining world where he's now mining. Because I'm over here. Am I not gonna go back and get him at some point? Maybe, I don't know. Okay, this will be you. Common room on one side, so that'll be quiet. And Mateo on the other side, so maybe a little less quiet. I'm sure Sarah has something planned for each of us, so I'd better get back to it. Don't want to keep her waiting too long. Enjoy. Thank you. Wow. A Chardonnay. Little ice bucket. Got a storage unit. Now, I'm more of like, I think everybody here can attest uh, after watching me for so many years that I'm the type of person that's definitely going to pack rat through games. And yeah. Oh, got a double in here. How do I turn off run? I feel like I'm on, I'm running all the time. That's why I'm using the controller. Uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm using a controller. Oh, so if you use the uh, left button, the uh, double screen button, you can go to third person. Yeah, but now, uh, probably shouldn't be toting a gun. Very funny, Walter. You know, constellation. Yeah, right away, it's, uh, don't go full move on the, uh, joystick. So... Are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? I'm yeah, ready. I'm going to be doing some old fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. The UC Vanguard? A volunteer force that helps defend the edges of United Colonies space. They're always looking for recruits. Lots of retired veterans and dangerous professionals mixed in with part-timers who barely have a laser cannon welded to a hull. My contact is in the recruiting office, so he hears a lot about what the volunteers are up to. Hmm. There we go. We have to assume that we're not the only ones to have stumbled into this mystery. But most people aren't going into space looking for the unknown. They're looking for places to settle, resources to extract, territory to defend. An odd looking rock or a single strange hunk of metal wouldn't mean much to them. That's why Constellation exists in a way to put pieces like this together. All right. Felt the same way when I started, too. There's an electricity in the air when you know you're about to uncover something. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. Ah, okay. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. That sounds like that Every might be... Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. <laughs> An easy Understood. thing to do. 
Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? Okay. I, yeah, like I, I'm, I'm still in the spacesuit, and everybody's like in casual clothes. It's like it's funny. All right, ATT, you have a good one. You want to hide that? Yeah. How do I? How do I do that? Open your inventory. Now go to spacesuit. You'll see the button. Oh, I see. Cool. All right. You do that for the helmet as well. Hello there, Vasco. Greetings, Walter Stroud. Oh, so I'm just in my I'm in my uh, underwear, I guess. Just a uh... Checking in, seeing how you're doing. At present, all systems are functioning well within established parameters. Right. Well then, keep up the good work. Of course. I have been given no alternate instructions. Okay. Well. Actually, let me take a quick break. Uh, we're already an hour and a half in, so I'm gonna play some clips and I'll be right back. All right, sorry about that. And there we go. All right, I'm back. Hey, Cash, what's going on, man? All right, I gotta figure out how not to run. I guess it's be running as you pull, you you push hard on it. You, you want to be delicate. Well, RL3 is the, uh, is literally sprint. Right. And uh, just don't put a lot of uh, much into the just pushing the joystick forward. Right. That's that's new. The touchiness of the uh, joystick is is definitely new. I didn't think about that. I'm doing all right, man. Good to see you. Thanks for uh, dropping in. I appreciate it. Running while encumbered. Oh, am I encumbered? I didn't, uh, would it make? I, I didn't think that was a thing. No, oh, in this game, yeah, it is. But it, you would know if you're encumbered because the further you, you push forward on the joystick for moving forward, you'll notice the oxygen bar go down. Yeah, I saw that. But it also goes down if you sprint. Right. Am I going the right way? Looks like I'm heading for a bridge. Ah, okay, I'm heading I'm heading for the maglev, right? Ah, uh, we're just playing from some Starfield, man. It's a brand new game that came out uh well, I was I think today was the first day of early access. Royalty self-reliance in all your actions as members of the United Colonies Navy. I, I do. Then I'm proud to welcome you. I think it's just interesting. Now, it looks like a, a well done game. Get I've heard people prepare it to fall out and um, Mass Effect or something. I 
some other space game. Yeah, we were saying earlier that it's like a meld of different different games that I I think that there's a lot of Skyrim in this. You can totally tell. But the question is, how much mod ability do they give it? Thought I'd run through some legwork together. Ah, another space explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies? That'll determine credits, how much people will get jump on citizenship? it. In, in terms of long-term stuff like Skyrim. All right, all right. Can't blame me for trying, right? I mean, I still haven't given up on getting know that. To that, That's what I'm asking. Steve. It's a game we play. He asks, I've been playing. I've been modding me. Baldur's game like Here's crazy. Here's what I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune. You know. The Sol system. Which admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian. Sorry, I'm gonna mute raised. the chat while I'm the dialogue's like going here. To care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. Oh, he goes way back. I think he was recruit number 81 or something. Hey, vanguards risk their lives every day to keep people safe. So what if he doesn't understand whatever this fancy thing of yours is? Easy there, John. We all have our sore points. Everyone agrees we need to talk to your vanguard about what he found. Let's leave it at that. All right, I'll let it slide. No good for the recruiting office to be seen arguing with the civs anyway. Soul system is a lot of planets, but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. Oh yeah, I want to know about Sidonia. Yeah. Bring a coloring book. You get so used to seeing red, you'll forget what blues and greens look like. Oh, damn. Oh yeah. You'll have to ask him. The Vanguard volunteers have retrieval rights if they get into a scrap. Wouldn't be surprised if he found it off of a pirate or something like that. Well, then we are off to Sidonia then. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. You see is a good friend to have. I gotta find a place to sell stuff though. That way you're not so encumbered. Yeah. And apologies, I didn't realize the voice chat or, or voice talk from them. Yeah, so if there's dialogue going on, because here's the thing, like, I, I'm trying to, I'm going to cut this up to put on YouTube. And so if you're talking over the dialogue, that kind of, you know, takes away from that goal. Understandable. Yep. Welcome to Mast. If you have an appointment, you may proceed inside. Okay, so I need to go... Looks like I need to go downstairs. Or, wait, hold on. Or should I take in the elevator? Makes me think of Labyrinth, the, the hand ring. Do I go up or down? Yeah, I think. Vanguard orientation? Where's the. No? Okay, so Nat Station, got it, okay. You should have climbed up the side of the building with suction cups. God. 
Oh, there we go. Nat station. Okay. I need to find better clothes, too. I look like I just escaped a spaceship. Spaceport. I think there are vendors here. There's the bank. I'm trying to see if, is there a map maybe? Terra brew coffee. Hi there. Thanks for stopping in. Feel free to look around. I can take care of transactions, and if you've got questions, just ask. Oh, please take a look. All right. Uh, so LB. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, <laughs> anti-personnel rip shank. Uh, do you think that they'll uh, they'll take an anti-personnel rip shank? <laughs> Ooh. A deep mining spacesuit and deep mining space helmet. Ooh, I've got six of these. I think I could sell these. I probably should should keep that. There. Sell all but one. All right. Appreciate the business. Thank you. All right, so now I shouldn't be encumbered anymore. And I also probably have enough uh, money maybe to be able to pick something else up or equip the ship. Stu, what did you equip uh, your ship? Oh, oh, shit. Am I on the wrong side? I went the wrong way. I, I got turned around is all. This is really a beautiful game, though. You haven't made any change. I know Stargate said that he made changes to his to his ship, but he's probably got like oh, yeah. eight hours into the game. Yeah, or maybe more than that. But <laughs> a good portion of it has been also just running around, looking at places as well. That's a technician. Oh, they should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. They'll cause plenty of havoc if left unchecked. Okay. anything you need to offload trade authority is always by hey adrian what's up man okay no problem 
All right, so. Um, I feel like more shields. Your credits. Oh, it puts me over mass. That's what it is. Missile launcher. Or am I about to sell something here? All right. Well, maybe I won't do that then. Been a long time since I've been to Mars. Soul system doesn't get along. Oh, yeah, I, I remember watching that. On deck. So we need to talk to Yumi, right? Bye, Sarah. Your first exposure? Oh, wow. I think that took place during the first season, or maybe second season of TNG. Definitely first season, if there's no beard. Welcome to UC Space. Maintain your current course while we scan your ship's cargo. And we're done. Enjoy Sidonia. And landing time. Just making Sarah had her hers on. Oh, whoa. Oh, yeah. How do I level up? Kill things, explore. No, sorry, I meant spend, uh, in my uh, skill points. Oh, you have to do challenges. You can unlock the first point perfectly fine, but you have to do challenges to level each thing up. Hmm.
Got wellness. It's pretty good. I, I just I think it's a it's beautiful game. It really is. So I can't spend anything, like, I can't do dueling or I can't do pistol certification? No, you can start the level one stuff. You have to click it. Because it'll take you into the skill and then you spend the point. Oh, okay. I think I'm going to go with scavenging. <laughs> Are there any that you recommend? I've got two skill points to spend. That's all up to you. I've been a little, uh, too much into the tech one. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. There's a lot of combat stuff in that one, too. Tech and social? Okay. I like that. Oh, but you can't. You can't get rank two until you do something with it? Yeah. Oh, I went with file not found. I was just curious if there was more, <clears throat> if that was like a alien in stow, you know, a ta alien tack. Where I'd have a lot more freedom. Oh, cool. You could be a chef and stuff. Ah, uh, okay. I'm gonna go with persuasion. All right. Oh, whoops. Sorry. Got turned around, that's all. It's an interesting comment because I've seen some of the, there's some interesting design proposals for a Martian habitat and a lot of them are based in like buried under regolith or, um, or, or creating like a regolith dome around the habitat. Jack. Excuse Serving me. drinks here for over 40 years. Oh, you know Jack. Few places can offer that kind of stability. He ain't been around. Went off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the blackest sea. There we go. You in the service? I know the feeling, but, uh, 
You just get so used to losing people. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian. Especially one that's missing. But... <clears throat> he has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but... If I'm out all that money, I got problems. What do you say? All right. Come on. Life on Sidonia ain't hard enough. You gonna guilt trip me? <laughs> Let's see. Don't try to guilt trip me, okay? Look, I'd like to help, but... Of course I do. It's just... <sighs> All right, I give up. Just trying to earn a living here. <laughs> Last time he was here, Moera kept yelling about the lady of love. <laughs> Singing songs. All that kind of thing. What does that mean? Venus? That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? Oh, fine. We'll make do. Are we just gonna go to Venus now? Okay. <laughs> Layla's been Excuse going on about the heart of Mars again. I know you were counting on that Sidonia Kazakh date. We'll find something else. Yeah. Well, Discount against me from your friends. Don't want to catch yourself with a loose grip on your equipment when one of those particle detonations go on. Wait. The Lux condos aren't anything special. Wait a minute, I'm confused. So, is Layla on Mars or do we have to go to? Uh oh. She's on Mars, we eat on Musk. You have to call him for a shuttle trip over there. That was sarcasm. Oh, okay, I just, I'm like, oh, you played this already? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I did say earlier that I didn't. I don't have a copy of it, so. That's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you seen any of the new uh, Futurama episodes or nah? Vanguard had flown by recently. 
No, but I think I see something else that might. There's a UC satellite beacon hovering distressingly close to those Varun ships. If we can get close enough to it, we could download its logs and figure out where our vanguard was heading to next. <laughs> All right, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. Oh, I can't do a save. Minimize ship power. Systems like weapons and shields are easier to detect. Okay. Here we go. I almost want to broadcast like a prayer from the Church of Trekkie <laughs> from Futurama. <laughs> Talk about the great bird of the galaxy and how it will it will defeat their serpent and <laughs> Oh yeah, that's uh, that's really close. You can see in the upper upper left there. So we are we're just creeping along at one tenth impulse power. Can I get an exterior view? Same button it has on oh, ground. Nice. The detail is pretty awesome. I know, right? Like I said, it, it's it's very close to the same detail of a uh, star citizen or elite dangerous. We're just going to GTFO then. <laughs> hmm. oh, there it is. Nova Galactic Star Yard. Still orbiting Earth's moon. This is where the first interstellar ships were made. People still use their modules, even though their star yard hasn't been running in forever.
Oh, yeah. Uh, it's all ancient history now, but the Earth lost its atmosphere. It started sputtering out into space. Humanity had about 50 years to evacuate the planet. That's kind of how the United Colonies government started. Managing the exodus. Earth is more or less a dust ball now. You can occasionally find a few remnants of the world we left behind on the surface, but not much. Keep your weapons ready. Never know who else might be scavenging there. Okay, docked with allowing you to board them. Okay. Oh, cool. Docking port. Oh, oh my God. Two steps in and we're already looking at a corpse. Okay. Holy shit. Looks like spacers were scavenging around. Looks here. like someone yes, shot a freaking shotgun at his head. Oh, you know, right? Point blank range, like that blood splatter, man. Facilities and shoot anyone who gets in their way. They're even less organized than the Crimson Fleet. Just countless desperate groups scavenging and killing to survive. I feel like tools are. Oh. I feel like tools are definitely something we want. Thank you, Stu. Appreciate appreciate the uh, advice. That's not at all eerie. When you loot them, they make a little jumping motion. That's uh... Shouldn't you have armor or something on? She's female. She's not allowed to have proper armor, according to, you know, the stereotypes. <laughs> Well, the characters will wear their suits when needed. Right, I saw that. Oh. Holy shit. Okay. One of the things I, uh, I wish is the, to the ability to, uh, in an area where you don't need your armor visible, well, your suit on. But like in the environment you're in right now. Because you still got the boost anyway. Length of fire. Holy shit.
Good lord, man. Wow, she's really pissed. this okay, you can favor multiple weapons and then use the d-pad to switch between them Sir, go down. hold on I'm waiting for the guy to show his face oh shit do that uh favorite um oh i should have sold these shit There's an eight spacer over there. Holy shit. Let's do this. Fuck. Damn, did she fly up? Oh, she's got a, like a jet pack. Okay. I was like, damn.
Holy shit. Also gonna need to switch uh, weapons probably. Is there a way okay, to if you use the fray? Yeah, there's a fray system. It, it adds them to the D-pad. No, I know, I know, I know. I'm just trying to figure out which one I want to use. Uh, you can attach like twelve. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, it should be twelve. I'm going with the uh, Lana King uh, special here. God damn it! Stop getting in my ah, man! Is she? She's got oh, like. Uh, oh, they all do it. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. I think it's Eclipse, right? into this guy. I almost feel like I need to swap out. No, this is the one that has the most. All right, I'm going to get going. So you can have fun uh, with the rest of the stream. I'm going to. All right, man. You have a good one. Down. You too, man. It's good to see you. Yep. Glad I'll, you're back. I'll be, I'll be on tomorrow with Jump Light Odyssey. So. All right. Be safe. There we go. I'm gonna look like them and see what happens.
I need the ammo. <laughs> Alright, where did Sarah go? Yes! You know me well. Where did that guy go? They're repositioning whoever they are. I hear them. Neptune. If any of you thugs are listening, I'm the damn ghost stealing your stuff in the night. Clear out while you have the chance. I got a lot of weapons to sell. Whoa, okay, well, shit. Okay. Oh yeah, we've already been here. Okay. Woo! That was crazy. Damn, this game is so pretty. So we're just going to sublight it. Wait, you see that? There's a ship just drifting out there. No time to take in the sights. That could be our vanguard. Something's wrong. The ship's weapons are powering up. Get ready.
Fuck. Okay. That's it. Start the docking routine. Come on. Let's go rescue that vanguard. Okay. <laughs> wow. This is awesome. Well, that was fun. Now what? Uh, okay. Okay, we're we're in somebody's bunk area. Oh. I gotta keep an eye on my health. I'm not used to, uh... And the med pack. God damn. Never hurt anyone, right? This is badly for you. Ah, come on. Elliptic pack? Oh, no. Definitely want that and that, though. All right. Why, hello there. Ah, am I glad to meet whoever you two are? Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? Yep. <laughs> Ecliptic marks. They'll work for anyone. Oh, Ecliptic. I thought it was Eclipse. friends with local pirates, thieves, and scavengers. Think enough of them finally got fed up and they pooled their money to hire professionals. We're from the Explorers Group. What? You guys still exist? <laughs> Man, I've only heard stories. We've heard stories too. About a strange object you found on patrol. So, you know what that thing is. I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. Mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. 
It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? Um, I'll just do that. Hey, I'll trade some weird space rock for a rescue anytime. Hope you figure out whatever that thing is. Let's grab the last packs. <laughs> Good work. Let's get back to the lodge. Do, don't we want to give him his key back? Thanks again for the rescue. Don't know what I would have done if you hadn't jumped in. Yeah, I stripped. I stripped all of these guys. Uh. Oh, Grendel, modified Grendel. Eh, if we're going back to, See if they've got any weapons or ammo. Then I think I might take it with me. So that I can sell it. And that's probably where we're going to end tonight because I don't know that we have enough time. We've only got about 16 minutes left of the stream. Yeah. Oh, power of grip. I was close. Oh man. <laughs> I skirted right by that asteroid there. Welcome to UC Space. Maintain your current course while we scan your ship's cargo. All right. We're done. You're cleared to land at New Atlantis. Uh, the Lodge. Fracking station. Whoa. A lot of fun, though. Definitely enjoying this game. Got a lot of stuff to sell. I hope you are satisfied with the <laughs> quarters it. available to you. Go ahead. Do the honors. Here we go. It fits. Energy spiked a bit, but it's restabilized. Is there anything new showing up? No, it's the same as before. There's a massive output as the artifact is added, then it harmonizes. Like it's waiting for the others. Sarah is the best possible That's person to be running I think you're right. at a time we like need this. More. Focus. Here. Nonsense. You've earned this. Welcome to Constellation. As a full member this time. Honestly, this just makes it more official. Call it right person, right place, right time. But once the artifacts started coming together, you were one of us. One of us. One of us. We're going to do great things together. All of us. By the way, how would you like to keep traveling together? Okay. I'm not sitting behind my desk for this. I... These artifacts are a new chapter for Constellation, and I'm going to be out there for it. And I want you out there as well. You got results. <laughs> I need someone like you watching my back. Oh, I work better alone. <laughs> it's such a dick thing to say. Oh my god. Uh, let's. Yeah, let me do that. Fair enough. But before you go, let me tell you about our other leads. 
First, there's an expedition that Samco has been putting together. It's in Free Star Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett? Yes, Barrett. A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it. No other word. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. <laughs> yes. Level five. Oh, wait. Or did I not get level five? Okay. Uh, oh, no, I did. I did get level five. I am at your service, Captain. Right, but I need to go. I've got a bunch of missions now, but I'm going to go sell, and then I think that'll do it for us tonight. And then tomorrow, I'm going to say noonish, if that sounds amenable to everybody. Noon Pacific, of course. Uh, we will do, or we will continue with. Uh, or we'll actually we'll start with Jump Light Odyssey because I God I need to I need to play that damn game. It's actually been sitting in my uh, to playlist, and then this game jumped <laughs> Jump Light Odyssey. So you know, there's that. Ah, oh, there we go. There's a vendor. Yeah, I'd like to know what happens at the. Uh... Please let me know. You won't find a larger array. Be my guest. Okay. You'll find that I have most ever. Oh, Corpo. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Hey, Rully, how are you? Uh, don't worry, I will have in about 10 minutes, Plex will be back up. I'm gonna go with Sleek Suit. There we go. I'm glad you came in. Okay, so I guess I have to go elsewhere. And then Yeah, so I gotta I guess I gotta go to the Nat station. Which I think is up here. Or not the United Colonies Vanguard program recently celebrated its 15 year anniversary. Dozens of Vanguard pilots who are now full UC citizens. Ah, here we go. You know, just by walking through that door, you've shown you make good decisions. <laughs> I like that about you. Welcome to Centurion Arsenal. It is my absolute pleasure to assist you with any this purchases is, or questions you may have. This is Starfield. All sales are final, but that won't matter because you will undoubtedly be pleased with your purchase. You have my word. I'm sure we can find something that suits you. But it... Oh, there we go. Uh, all right, so now I want to sell. Oh, damn. Uh, I want to keep that.
That looks cool, anti-personnel. By you, shiny. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, wait, hold on. Combat knife, lacerate Grindel. Gonna do that. Uh, so seven, seven. All right, so let's sell that, that, that. I have like a ton of these. Is it? Oh, damn, look at this one, Sidestar. This is, this is the Lana Kane gun, man, right? This is, is this full auto? It looks like it's full auto. So I need more of those. <laughs> and still <laughs> incredibly single. <laughs> uh, oh man, I'm I am like loading up on credits right now. But anyway, uh, I'll I'll uh, I'll finish this later. Let me uh, let's go into webcam zoom. There we go. Start up the music, guys. Thank you so much. Um, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. I, I'm really liking it. It feels like a single player, a single player Star Citizen, really. But I'm really enjoying the uh, stories involved in the uh, in the game. But uh, so far, so good. I'm lo I'm loving this. I'm really curious to see what the mods are going to look like though for this game i we were talking about this a little bit yesterday when we were doing the uh, installation and we were thinking about all the different uh ship mods that are possibly on the table like i i mean can you imagine if a delta flyer shows up in this game i think it'd be pretty badass but i have to wonder if the mods are gonna like how how deep are some of these mods going to be but I, I i just can't wait i think it's going to be amazing and if, if let's say that starfield has the same amount of staying power as skyrim does then that means i mean this game could be around for 10 plus years right so i think i think honestly this this could be pretty amazing I gotta find a raid target. Oh wow, nobody's really playing Star Trek Online right now? Well, we could always read, um, I, I think, I think Laura, uh, is probably going to have enough of an audience without me adding mine <laughs> uh, audience into it. And if you guys want to go with it, that's fine. But I know, right? Well, I, I was thinking about, uh, reading Miss Michelle Jean, uh, because she's playing Baldur's Gate. And so, yeah, I think, I think that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll read, uh. Mies Michelle. And, uh, cause I, I actually have not, I, it's funny. I have not raided. I think yesterday was the first raid in like over a month. So I'm excited. I get to raid again. Um, but again, okay. So tomorrow I'm, like I said, I'm thinking noon we'll do jump light odyssey. I don't know for how long we'll see what we can do. Um, I'm that's another, that's another game that I'm, I'm really looking forward to. I also want to do Demonologist for those that are going to be around for that. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Mr. Cthulhu, standard time. 
and see if we can't get see if we can't get some people to join us and maybe matthew prime will, will join us or maybe we can get uh mark or anybody else if you guys don't have demonologists highly recommended and i heard that the updates are insanely good oh i know i i know <laughs> this is my surprise face about your schedule but yeah but <laughs> i'm playing Baldur's gate are you wait so are you going to continue to record uh starfield or or no like did you just do the first hour just to show it off or are you actually going to continue the story and then put it up on uh, youtube I'd, I'd be curious <laughs> He's like, I will answer no questions. <laughs> no, it's all good. I uh, was just going to do the first hour. You got plans for other content, like ship customizations. Or when the mob yeah, uh, I agree. I think that's that's about right. And uh, but anyway. Yeah, no worries, man. It's all good. All right, we're 15 seconds out. We're, uh, as I said, we're going to raid... Ms. Michelle, so please uh, hang out and give her all your support if you can. Give her a follow and uh, let us do the jump. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me tonight for Starfield. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already done so, please ring the heart. Sorry, click the heart and ring the bell <laughs> for follow notification. The next time will be on tomorrow for... Uh, for Jump White Odyssey. Thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> guys, so like, ring the heart. That would be amazing. Uh, anyway, have a fantastic rest of your Friday, everybody. Stay safe, stay healthy. We will see you tomorrow. Transmission complete.